If you've been wondering about the difference between a data scientist and a data analyst, then you're not alone. While there are a number of similarities between these two fields, they are actually completely distinct roles in terms of what they focus on and what they mean for the business. In this video, I'm going to cover the key differences between these two fields, focusing primarily on their job responsibilities and the tools that they use. Before diving in, it's important to note that the responsibilities and the tools used across these two fields can vary widely depending on the company. If you're looking to break into the industry, it's it's important to read the entire job description as sometimes a company will post a data scientist job that reads much more like a data analyst job and vice versa. However, I'll share an overview of what these two fields could and generally do have in common and how they differ. First, let's talk about the key responsibilities of a data scientist. A data scientist uses statistical and machine learning techniques to develop predictive models, algorithms, and data-driven solutions to complex business problems. They are also often responsible for data acquisition, cleaning, and integration, and they work closely with data engineers and software developers in order to get their models into production. A data scientist also tends to focus more on predictive analytics, which is using historical data to forecast future trends and behaviors. A data analyst, on the other hand, uses statistical and logical techniques to evaluate and find patterns in data. They may also conduct basic data cleaning steps, such as getting rid of irrelevant information or removing missing values. However, they do it on a much smaller scale than a data scientist. A core function of data analytics is building and producing dashboards using business intelligence tools. These dashboards take in data in real time and can be used to show a number of different things, such as the health of a company's products or trends in user behavior. These dashboards are typically used by product managers, executives, and operations teams, all of whom want to know user behaviors and how the company is performing in relation to its goals. Simply put, a data scientist spends a great deal of time gathering, cleaning, and analyzing unstructured data and getting it into a format that is ready for analysis, while a data analyst takes in structured data and uses it to generate actionable business insights. When it comes to the tools that are used by data scientists and data analysts, there's actually very little difference in the types of tools. Rather, it's the way in which the tools are used that differ between the two fields. Take Python, for example. It's an essential tool for both data scientists and data analysts. A data scientist may use Python to conduct large-scale data cleaning. That is, taking data from an unreadable format and making it accessible to both humans and to machines. They may also use Python to create machine learning models for statistical analyses or to create libraries to automate day-to-day -day tasks. On the other hand, a data analyst is likely to use Python to take already clean data and conduct prescriptive or descriptive analytics on it. They may also spend a considerable amount of time in tools like Excel and data visualization platforms like Tableau and Looker in order to conduct analyses, create dashboards, and communicate their findings to stakeholders. Both data scientists and data analysts rely on SQL to communicate with the data warehouse. A data scientist may use SQL to clean and prepare data for future analyses. They may also be responsible for data acquisition, using tools like DBT and Airflow to manage the data pipeline, bringing in data from different sources, and getting it into a format that is usable. A data analyst, on the other hand, may use SQL to extract data directly from the data warehouse or to explore large data sets to identify trends and patterns in the data. For more easy to follow guides that can help you out on your journey, check out the playlist on screen. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a data analyst, click the link down in the description.